you guys are so young, but you're honestly like so cool. Like what your Thank generation you. doesn't <laughs> seem to go through the awkward phase. I'm like, where is it? That is, that is not true. It's not? No. <laughs> there me. are some very questionable photos of me in my like 10 to 12 that I'm like, why, why? was no, I yeah. wearing that? Yeah. Why was I wearing that? Yeah. I feel like growing up in the industry, like mm. as an actress, it is so painful to see like my old interviews yeah. because like oh, that's true. I did go through like everyone goes through awkward phases, you know, like it's just part of life. And like I've seen my old interviews and like there was just some of them I watched. And I'm like, what was I doing? Like, I'm just so awkward and I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. And it's like you can't like push them aside because they live on the Internet like right. forever. So I feel like maybe since there's so much stuff, you know, of us, like, on Crown Lake and us now, like, we've kind of sweeped to the side, so no one really remembers it, but, like, we do have really awful things on the internet that will never disappear. Yeah. Also, like, there's photos, especially when I was on, like, Dog with the Blog. I yeah. was pretty young, and that was when I was kind of, like, you know, like, I was losing my baby teeth, and, like, my, yeah. <laughs> my actual teeth were coming in, and, oh, gosh, and there's, like, some photos, and I'm, like, so bad it's yeah, so bad it shows like I yeah. saw this clip of me on CSI and I was like seven and it was just the worst thing ever <laughs> like I have like two teeth and, like it's just so embarrassing like you go through at like if you started at our age you go through every stage of life like and it's all documented in front of everyone yeah. yes. which is funny yep. but also like very personal yeah <laughs> you're like oh no you saw those oh yeah. yay so you go through them too it just oh, I yeah. don't know why it just doesn't seem like it like I feel I, like it's because of social media like okay. kids get this like you know, tangible idea of what they could be, like seeing like the yeah. social media like influencers or models and they're like, mm -hmm. okay, well I can buy these clothes from them and I can look exactly like them. So like right. that is so not true. exactly I think like what your parents see, want you to dress Yeah, in. these people and they think that like they have it all together and like mm -hmm. from the outside they look so like they have everything going on and like <laughs> But trust me. You're like, honey, like, on the inside. <laughs> I am different. a mess. Like, there. oh, my God. Like, I am not perfect. Like, it is just not. It's a mess. I'm a teenager, and, you know, we're, we all go through those phases. But Absolutely. Let's go into Crown Lake since that is current, and everyone listening is like, hello. They just dropped the, you know, season hello. finale. Why aren't you talking about it? Yeah. Okay, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> everyone scrolled at this part of the interview. <laughs> like, all right. It literally just aired this past week. Yeah. Emily sitting there just grinning. <laughs> like, uh, yes. This right. was a super fun. Yeah. These were all super fun episodes to film this season, especially because we like got to know each other better. Because like a lot of us had actually known each other, but we hadn't like seen each other in a while. So getting to like yeah. come back, and then especially for season two, it was so much fun. This season yeah, was great. By season two, yeah. we were all just like oh, absolutely, way too comfortable yeah. with each other. Oh, yeah. Like season one, we were all just kind of like hi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In season two, we we just know we knew each other so well at that yeah. point. And let's say we pick up for season three, are we? Do we know yet? Am I asking a question that's known to the world? It's <laughs> no. not known. We okay. really want to. Yeah, we we'd to. love to we have no season idea, three. Though. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, where would you maybe want to see, now that we've closed chapter two, let's say, where would you want to see things go in three? Oh, gosh. There's so many places that I think that Crown Lake could go. I yeah. really like the whole, like, mysterious, like, not knowing who Heather is, like, kind of, like, Pretty Little Liars vibes. Yep. Like, that's yeah, my yeah. favorite Gossip part of girl, the show. Give me exactly. all the feels. Like, yeah, uh -huh. that, I think that's really cool. And then just, like, kind of, like, the friendships, like, as we've mm -hmm. made more bonds, like, mm -hmm. kind of see, like, going more into depth and seeing, like, these, like, multidimensional friendships, like, kind of, like, mm -hmm. going through phases. Like, we kind of went through, you know, our, like, fighting. And I'd love We're to see us, you season know, season get back <laughs> to being, you know, besties. Is that friend. fun? Like, a little bit? You guys are obviously friends. Yeah. You're friendly. But just to be able to act. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, so, it's so fun. fun. <laughs> we love doing that. We'll we'll just play on it. We'll yeah. make it so nasty and mean. And then it, they'll cut and we'll just laugh. Yeah. But, yeah, I definitely like the dark component to the show. I I hope it even gets darker in season yeah. three if we have one. I'd love to see her go back to just like her badass self, like <laughs> yes. just going back and like accepting herself and her sexuality and just like going back to being like the Chloe that we, we know and love. <laughs> have you ever like squeeze something in there that wasn't necessarily on the script that you were like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, we do. We actually have so many funny scenes where, like, things happen and, like, we didn't, it's not in the script, but, like, we end up keeping it. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure the scene, like, where you dropped the book on my head, like, it was supposed to just fall next to me. Was, oh, in the oh. finale. Yeah, it oh, was yeah. supposed to fall next to me, and I'm like, watch it! <laughs> that was so funny. But, like, she accidentally dropped it on my oh, head, my. and yeah. we ended up laughing, but then Chris, our director, was like, no, like, do that. 
And so then every time she'd drop it on my head, it didn't hurt or anything. It's like, like all right, take 13. Let's drop it on her head again. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. No, but like we added it because it just kind of, it was like a little yeah, comedic it thing. Was fun. Especially like that's another perk of like working with your friends. You are comfortable right. to do things. Like if it was a stranger, I'd be like, would not drop yeah. a book on her head, obviously. But like, right. we're all so comfortable yeah. with each other. So like no matter what we have to do, like we're so comfortable with asking each other and bringing up new yeah. ideas and even to our director and like it's just great like we have such an awesome relationship mm-hmm. with everyone on set where we you guys do i i asked before for like the drama what happens on set with lilia no, no. and lexi Literally, when they were here and no they're like drama. honestly we have nothing for you I, like i <laughs> could I not like, think okay. of one thing <laughs> like I there's know. been no drama we're all maybe in such a drama f- like filled script right maybe yeah. that like you yeah, can't we, have both drama yeah exactly we were fighting so much no. on screen we c- couldn't possibly fight in real yeah. life right <laughs> you brought it to your characters yeah. only <laughs> yeah. yes okay so hopefully season three to yes. be determined but you would be up for it oh yeah, yeah. absolutely like, mm-hmm. we just have like too much so fun, much fun. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just so fun do a little rapid fire game here sounds good yeah. so i'm gonna just rumble off some things and the first thing person place whatever those pronouns are, that comes to mind. First and place singer <laughs> idea that comes to mind, you just go ahead and blur it out, okay. all right? I'm so impulsive, this is going to be bad. Okay. <laughs> all right, first one. First heartbreak that you can remember. Yes. Honestly, I think my first heartbreak was realizing, like, like in school, like, realizing that I was going to have to study and also go to school for so long. <laughs> and, like, I think the first heartbreak I can remember, like, the first feeling of heartbreak is, like, as a kid... I, it was like in elementary school. I really liked this guy, and you know we were really getting along. <laughs> and uh, turned out he had literally been doing the same thing with all my friends. Like, oh, no. and it's like this was in like elementary school. Like not, <laughs> but like I just remember the feeling of like I was really into this guy. And my best friend comes up to me and is like, "Oh yeah, this kid just like asked me on it to go to the swings with him." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and that was the first time it like got between friendships too so i was like yeah. this is reality mm-hmm. man like it was really sad but that's all i can remember like the first thing no that it's happened. hard it's it's literally soul crushing <laughs> it, yeah. sticks it was with really intense in the time. Yeah. yeah okay something you're most criticized for oh my goodness like, like criticized like my mom telling me to put on lipstick. No, Thank you. No, <laughs> no, but that, yeah, like my mom, like, you wear your hair up too much, or like people on social media, or something you criticize oh. yourself for too much. Oh, um. Yeah, so something you're most criticized like for. So, there's so social many media for sure. to this question. Um, basically, people on social media not being able to separate me from characters mm. is a criticism that I've gotten a lot. But also, just like random things about like your look. Yeah, that mm-hmm. they'll just like point something on. They'll be like, "Yeah, that's what like actually gets to me the most." Because like but with like, the character, yeah. it's like, not oh, whatever. It's a mm-hmm. character, but like they'll point out the most random things they'll that I've like, never Why thought. Why does your ear look like that? And I'm like, "What's wrong with your ear?" Yeah, it's like something super random that yeah. you've never thought about, and then they bring it up, and then you think about it for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. So it'll be, I think, just like random things about like my body or like my look mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that yeah, just like stays that. with you forever, yeah. and then it's all you think about. And it's things too that are like. Well, I can't really fix that. So, yeah. like, someone told me, like, once, like, I really like you, but your eyebrows are just, like, terrible. I'm like, well, they're kind of attached to my face. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what to do. This is yeah. my face, and yeah. I wish I could get rid of it, but I can't. No. Yeah. But, no, like, exactly. But, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. I just don't like, yeah, people stop critiquing things people really have no control over. Yeah. It's a lot of just, like, look things mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. social exactly, media. Exactly, like, random like, things that you'll just see in the comment, and you'll be like, why? Well, like, now why? I like, now I see it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. For having me have to live with that forever. Yeah, exactly. It's like add it to my tab. Keep it open. Yeah. Another thing. Okay. <laughs> right. Few more. Okay. Ooh, one thing you would change about yourself. Oh, l- less of an overthinker. I'm okay. such an overthinker. I overthink every situation, and then like, it only leads to me like you know. It's a downward spiral. Yeah, exactly. You think about thinking it, then you think that you're thinking about it, then you think that you're overthinking about it, then you're exactly, overthinking, yeah. overthinking about it. It's like, okay. I'm kind of opposite. I actually just was talking about this. I wish I would think with my head before thinking with my heart. Because mm. oh, yeah, I'll like true. jump into things based on how I'm feeling, no matter what it is. Like if it's just like something random or like, I don't know, I'll just like jump into things based off of my emotions and then I'll like think about it later and I'm like, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Yeah, sleep so on I, it. So I just need to like think yeah. things over because I always just like get really emotionally attached to things and then like make decisions that I should not have made. Yeah, it's hard. It, it even happens when you're older. It's just like a life <laughs> thing. Okay. Yeah, I just get too emotionally attached to things. <laughs> One thing that you would not change about yourself. Oh. 
I think that's sweet. I think <laughs> Emily, I love um, <laughs> probably like. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm like super. I'm like, oh, we can't come up with this. <laughs> the first <laughs> one, we were like, uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I think I'm pretty confident in myself that I like. I don't really feel like I can like need to be peer pressured or anything. Like okay. when I'm in situations I don't feel comfortable with, like I'm pretty confident in like my actions yeah. and like being like not necessarily caring what other people think about yeah. me. Think yeah, I'm kind of the same thing. I don't want to <laughs> be like, <laughs> like I'm so weird and quirky, <laughs> but like, I don't know, just like not really trying to do what everyone else is right. doing. Like I like that I like know who I am and I can just put that out there and not worry about like what other people are doing at the moment. Yeah. Um, and also just like, I guess I like how I can read people because it's helped me out in lots of situations where I can like kind of see who people are before other people find out. And so I can like judge kind of what I'm getting into with mm-hmm. people before yeah. I really get into it. No, it's it. a good skill to have. Yeah. And I feel like mm-hmm. both of you, it's just like a good head on your shoulders. Yeah. yeah. With, you know, room for little mistakes. We're all growing up here. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Of course. I'm just giving you a little wiggle room there. <laughs> <laughs> Something happens. Okay, a couple more. Sorry. Your biggest pet peeve? People talking with their mouth full. That was, like, for some reason, that is yeah. something that, like, like... Seafood, they call it, or something. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is more just, like, f- fake people. Oh, uh, well, mm-hmm. that, too. I mean, like, I meant, like... Yeah, I guess just, like, w- I don't really care when people are mean to my face, but, like, when people are mean behind my back, it bothers me so much, because I'm, like, it's just... I don't know. It just oh, yeah, I'd, so much. I'd rather other, people yeah. just, like, be straightforward yeah, with yeah, it. exactly. Then, yeah, like, try to be someone else, mm-hmm. and then you find out that they're not. Exactly. Who they thought, who you thought they were. Mm-hmm. I hear you. It's okay. It's like fool me once, right? For the most part. Yeah, okay. Just Something, be mean to me. It's just, fine. just be mean. Like, I, just I honestly don't care. Honestly. <laughs> we'll be friends right after. Just yeah. Yeah. to me. Okay. Something that attracts you to a person. A good personality. <laughs> <laughs> She's like I blue eyes. <laughs> I can't definitely yeah. like how they approach me. Like, I don't know, like, what they talk about first. Not, like, can I get your snap? or whatever. But, like, also just, like, people's styles. I'm really attracted to people who, like, have a unique style. And, like, mm-hmm. I, it kind of just, like, draws my eye. Like, the very first thing that draws my eye. And I'm, like, oh, that's interesting. They seem cool. Maybe I'll yeah. give them my snap. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. But approaches. once I meet I them, you. it's yeah. definitely yeah. all personality. No matter what they look it's like. the way they yeah. carry themselves. At first, that's oh, yeah. what you right. first see. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Okay. Exactly. 